Whether you grow crucifer crops in open field or the high tunnel, one insect pest that has become universally damaging on small organic farms is the yellow margined leaf beetle. This presentation quickly provides you information about the basic life cycle and scouting techniques for the yellow margin leaf beetle. Later videos will focus on the details of trap cropping, bioinsecticide, and natural enemies. Adult is a chrysomelid leaf beetle that is oval in shape and about 5 millimeters long. Body of adult looks dark brown with a pale yellow border on the wing, hence the name. Eggs are laid singly or in small masses on the soil surface or under plant leaves. Larvae are grayish with a black hard head and many fine hairs on the body. Pupation occurs under leaves or on soil and the pupa look like debris or fresh. The eggs and larval stages of the leaf beetle can be confused with similar stages of the lady beetle, which is a beneficial insect. Lady beetle eggs are laid in upright clusters whereas the yellow margin leaf beetle eggs appear to be in loose bunch on soil. Lady beetle larvae may have brightly colored bands on their abdomen with several spines sticking out from the body as indicated with the arrow. Sudden appearance of a large number of lady beetle larvae is an indicator of aphid or other insect pest infestations. You may see large aggregations of yellow margin leaf larvae on turnips and napa cabbage as preferred host plants. Yellow margin leaf beetle can move quickly from the field borders to the middle of the field, causing major devastation. They may go deep into the center of the crop, which may make insecticides difficult to reach the pest. Yellow margin leaf beetle adults on cabbage feed from outside leaf margins and move quickly, causing notching of the leaves. Larvae feed in a large aggregations and cause complete defoliation. In comparison, caterpillars feed close to the major leaf veins and move toward the margin. Grasshoppers feed irregularly and consume large portions of leaves. Field research in Alabama indicates that the yellow margin leaf beetle onset can be sudden in areas that are new to crucifer crops. Population pressure can increase over time, so direct crop scouting and record keeping are essential first steps to IPM. Trap cropping with turnips or napa cabbage can be a good scouting tool. Treat the trap crop to kill the pest there. Monitoring is a key part of any IPM strategy. Currently, in situ counts are the most widely used monitoring method for M. okramala. During sampling, plants should be checked carefully as both adults and larvae prefer the undersides of leaves and other sheltered areas. Sampling one or two plants out of every 10 foot gave good results in research trials. The economic threshold has not been determined, although a nominal threshold of one adult per plant has been used for research purposes. This video will provide a quick overview of trap cropping and insecticide use for managing the yellow margin leaf beetle. We strongly recommend the use of perimeter trap cropping on small farms since this insect is migratory and shows up on field edges where it can be stopped. The strong attraction of adult beetles to turnips and napa cabbage is beneficial with minimal area devoted to the trap crops. The economic threshold for yellow margin leaf beetle is one adult per plant. Crop damage can occur rapidly at higher populations as shown in the picture from one of our demonstration plots. In the presence of a good trap crop, producers will notice very little attack on the main crop. Spinosad and pyrethrin appear to be most effective insecticides for therapeutic control with spray applications that are five to seven day intervals. Target the larvae and adults on the trap crop before they disperse. Pay careful attention to the effect of treatment before and after applications and keep records. Field tests continued in Alabama to identify additional products that may control the leaf beetle. For additional information, producers are strongly encouraged to visit the Alabama Vegetable IPM website and find the IPM training module, especially for the yellow margin leaf beetle. The website lists several webinars and scouting publications on a single page. Beginning and experienced farmers are also encouraged to subscribe to the Alabama IPM Communicator newsletter to remain updated about this insect pest. Subscribe today by visiting the web address on your screen. Alabama Extension Publication ANR2241 is also an excellent scouting companion field guide for producers. Get your copy today by participating at an IPM training event 
or by contacting an extension agent near you. We wish to thank our funding agency, research station staff, and producers who made this IPM project a success. Don't forget to utilize the educational resources mentioned earlier and stay in touch with the extension personnel in your state.